What's up, everybody? I'm Snigginhoff, and we are back playing Gwent, the open beta, once again today. And we're gonna do, we're gonna play some of the starter decks just to get a feel for the new version of the game. And you know what? Let's play Nilfgaard. Why not? And I'm probably gonna play until I've gotten the uh, first tier of bonuses for the day, so six round wins. Whether that takes me three games, six games, 24 games, we'll get there. We'll get there, I promise. If we ever find a worthy opponent. Well, apparently we didn't. Do you ever fo like follow the thing around with your mouse? I do that all the time on loading screens. I just like, uh, try to make match the speed. Of course, when it's when it's being real choppy, it makes it harder. Come on, Gwent. Okay, playing some Skellige. Madman 09711. It's a lot of different madmen. Um, let's see. What do we got here? This card is dope. Do I want doo doo? I'm not sure if I want doo doo. Um, do I have it enough to really take advantage of Commander's Horn right now? I don't. Let's go ahead and get rid of Commander's Horn. Rot Tosser's not bad. Let's drop doo doo as well. Okay. Got all three of my golds in hand. That'll be good on the next round or the round after. Decoy's really good. Scorch is really good. Yeah, let's just let's hold on to this. Oh, I go first too. This is a really bad hand for going first. I could just first light. Yeah, let's hit him with a rally. Yeah. All these car all my cards are reactive, that's the problem. Play one of those dudes out. So yeah, this rot tosser spawns this cow carcass that after two turns it destroys the lowest unit or units on the row. Although, Skellige is probably pretty good against that, because he's got the archer who can snipe his own dudes. So it may not have been the best call. Okay. Um... I could bounce this... I could, like, play this dude to bounce this dude. That doesn't seem great, though. I, mean, I have a lot of bounce in my hand. I kind of don't want to play the combat engineer yet. Wise choice. I mean, I could bounce these archers like. One, two, three times. Okay, he may be going for the... Oh! He got the... And Great Warrior, so he just wasted it. He just wasted it. Um, or I could play this Combat Engineer and bounce him a bunch of times. That might be better. Just carry over like a ton of damage into the next round. Let's try that out. Keep together. I mean, one, one, and one. You can't target this multiple times, no matter how hard you try. Yep. Okay. Barbarians. <laughs> Ew. 
If I were him, I would pass right now, but he's not going to do that. Do I just call it here? I mean, that's not the worst. And I could bounce this guy a couple times next round. Carry over 10. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I do not need this Royal Decree. <laughs> May I redraw, please? There we go. What's he got over here? He's got a bunch of big dudes. And, and, and he's resurrecting one. Is this a random? No, I get to pick. Sweet. Well, I definitely need to take that... This dude from him. And I might as well... It's boost the damage to the left. Do do. My prescription, a bit of blood letting. This is worth nine, this is worth eight. My head goes axe. And also gets rid of her. He should really just call it at some point, but he's of course not going to do that. Um, I'm going to play this dude and bounce the archer. And replay it. Actually, I'm going to deal five to this. That way I lose my scorch up. Um, yeah, seems fine to me. Alright, we're even going into the last round. I've got two golds in my hand, plus a Scorch, and a cow, th a cow thrower. Uh, don't really need this right now. And we've kind of nerfed his graveyard a little bit. So if he's going for resurrection stuff, it's going to be a little harder. Uh, yeah, let's play that. <coughs> kind of feel like I should just play this. I kind of want to save Triss till after I play my Scorch. Hoping he plays something that's like a 9 that I can get rid of. Or maybe if he played another 8, I'd get rid of 16 of his and only lose 8 of mine. That'd be fine. Rally. Out with the crowns. Come on, quick now. North shall mercy. Mm, you know what? That may have been wrong, but because I could have bounced my eight and then played my scorch, that may have been better. Come 
That should pump him up to nine. Okay. I think I'm just going to run this out now since I get value out of it. All right. Well, there's one win. Opponent's connection was lost and they were forced to forfeit. I have won the game. Okay. Send good game, even though he's probably not going to send one back to me. Two rounds won. What do we get for it? 15 or. And a wee bit of experience. Alright, let's find another one. Run it back. Um, I really like the bouncing in this deck. It's pretty cool. Things you can do with it. I mean, you've kind of got, what, four sources of it that I can think of? Bruverhoog. The North shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. But you can do some clever things with it. Problem is, like, going first with this deck sucks. Because it's all reactive. Like, Cow, Carcass, Combat Engineer, Vicario Medic. Like, all these cards are just reactive. There's a few cards that are worth playing early, but... Not a ton. Hey, look, another reactive card. Uh, let's get rid of the Swallow for now, I guess. I like having both these medics, but man, I just don't have anything to play on the first turn. Unless he goes first, or I could just rally. Royal Decree gives me access to all my gold cards. Yeah, let's finish. And I go first again. Gonna hit him with a rally. Get an archer. Triss. Um, that makes things a little awkward. Where are you gonna play, dudes? But as soon as I play this, he can't. He's not just not gonna play dudes there anymore. I'm gonna put it here in case he's playing like the resilient dwarf. What what card did you play? It's not telling me. Okay, so you royal decreed out Geralt. Do I want to just pass? He doesn't really have anything in this graveyard, though, for me to get. Like, this hand is just as bad on the next turn as it is right now. Only difference is he'll go first. I'll have two dead cards in my hand, though, that I'll have to wait. I don't know, maybe I need to throw back one of these medics. Scorch, and my last gold. We don't need this real decree anymore. I say no to that. This leader returns an ally, doesn't have to be a bronze ally. Oh, 
I must. I could scorch him here for 14. Let's wait, though. Really wish I could see what this card is that he just played. Boost a unit in your hand by three. No bronzes in your graveyard. You're gonna go get a scorch of your own, I assume? No. Play a random dwarf from your deck and boost it by three. That seems pretty good. It's a lot of a lot of stuff he just added. He does have the dwarf skirmisher in his deck now in his graveyard now that I could go get. I'm down by what, 14? I would rather save this for the last round, but I think I'm just gonna play him now. Just to catch up. Room a little, eh? I mean, at some point, you should pass. <laughs> Why did he get boosted? Oh, he probably got boosted from the hand. That's right. How can I help? Prescription, a bit of bloodletting. Never had your Just get rid of this guy. He's gonna play this all the way down to the freaking last card. Room a little, eh? He may be able to get it too, which is annoying. Broken. He does have a bronze in his graveyard. Eh, that's also annoying. Who would I want to pick up? Probably this guy. Yeah, let's actually do that. There is but one punishment for traitors. Enough gob flopping. Swallow. Yep. I'm down five. Okay, I can win this round. And then go up next round 17. Seems good. A bit of blood That's why you don't go too hard to win round two, kids. Get the card advantage and then pass. Doo doo. Um, I think I throw doo doo back. Oh, well, that's great. But that card is unlikely to be worth 17. Even if it's a Scorch, I win. Like, 
Yeah. Like, everybody just gets that first round win and is just like, Oh, I gotta win the next one too! No. Take a chill pill. Relax. Think. Get the advantage. 15 scraps. Alright. Let's run it back again. Monsters. There is but one punishment for traitors. Hey, we've gotten three different factions right in a row. That's awesome. Ah, and we're actually going to play some of our emissary emissaries this round. This is like a much better hand than we've had in any of the any of the games recently. I think I'm just going to keep this. And he's actually going first, which is so much better for us. This guy resets a unit if it's an ally, strengthened by three. If it's an enemy, weaken it by three. That seems really good. This guy's ability is really good. Because, like, especially because he can bounce silvers. Can he bounce golds? I would assume no, but, like, maybe... Thankfully, I've got, like, almost no melee units, and I think I'm just going to play this dude Please wait out first. Let's see what I get. Sweet! <laughs> it's, like, the last thing in the whole world I want to get off that. Oh, that's so annoying. Barbarians. Do I have to? It is not a may ability. Oh, that's so annoying. Should have played this out first. That was like the worst thing you could have done. Let's do this again. Hope for a bit better results this time. If he plays another row of frost right here, I'm just like out of luck. I th um, I'm tempted to just. No, no, I'm behind now. I was thinking about just passing there. If I can get into a situation where I'm ahead still, I'm going to pass, I think. He's used two Biting Frosts. I wonder if he's got a third. Death comes for you.
I will not let this become a sin of Sodom. You gonna do this to pull a wild hunt rider out? Move three adjacent units to the opponent row opponent's row on your That was a weird choice. Do you have any bronze units in your graveyard? You do have a lot of bronze units in your graveyard. Mm, a highly curious case. Um, I think it's going to be better to take. No, because he's going to be. Maybe let's just take one of these. Now you're gonna go get your wild hunt rider. I mean, this is the better call. Well, some people don't make good calls. You shoot this one. Got a twenty three nineteen over here, huh? I could pass and just go into the next round up a card on him. I kind of like my hand. Or I could play like this. But the longer I drag this out, the like the less value I'm getting. Yeah, I think being up a card on him is fine. And he's going to go all out to win round two, because everyone always does. And then we'll have the card advantage going into round three. Unless he's smart, what he should do is open pass right here to get the card advantage even again, but he's not going to do that. No one ever does. Do I want to throw any of this back? I mean, I love having that Scorch. That Rally seems really nice. Yeah, I think this is just fine. Yep, going all out. No passage. Yeah, he's out of biting frosts. Um, I think it's safe to play this as a rally. Triss, probably targeting here. Any last words? Whoa.
you're moving a card from my graveyard to your graveyard, I think. I think that's what that card does. Yes, move one move a card from one graveyard to the other. He is up by two. There is but one punishment for traitors. That was kind of dumb. I could either scorch it. If I pass here, I don't think this triggers. So I think I have to play a card. Otherwise, it's going to trigger. But if I scorch it, it doesn't matter. It, that may not have mattered either way. Like if I had passed, it may have triggered, but I don't think it would have. So I think I had to. I think I had to play that card. I'm still up a card on him. He is ahead of me by four. Swallow's not the worst thing in the whole world. I mean, that's fourteen power. I strive above all to be just. This is an Alzer's Thunder. I'm going to be pissed. Nope. Alright, we win. 3-0, and baby. It's why you don't go all out to win round two. Stop it. Think. Be smart. It's very unlikely you're going to get a 2-0. Very unlikely. More rounds one. Should be 100 ore. I think. That's not a good game. 100 ore. Did I get to level 2? Probably not. Uh, exit. You guys want to see what's in my pack? I want to see what's in my pack. Let's do it. Customer right always. Ooh, yes. Open it up. Smash, smash. What you got, you ugly beast? You beautiful ugly beast. Azura Adept. Commando Neophyte. Another Wild Hunt Rider. Clan Demoon Pirate. And... I'm probably taking this Arrakis Behemoth. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking that Arrakis Behemoth. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Um, what do you think of Nilfgaard? I like the bouncing and all the all the fun stuff they can do. But anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.